ever on our Hall of Fame, Ray Chamberlain, the class of 1936. A number of years ago, we inducted the first of two Martin brothers into this Hall of Fame. We inducted Leo Martin, who was killed during World War II and for whom a golf course was named in Newton. Tonight is the time for another extraordinary golfer of these two brothers who were the most extraordinary golfers in the history of Watertown High School and, in fact, in the history of the town, Ed Martin, class of 1934. Ed began his golf career at the Waltham Country Club. He and his brother Leo and his brother Randolph all excelled. Randolph, in fact, was captain of the Watertown High golf team, and so was Leo. But Leo and Eddie, between them, carried the day time and time again. The end result for Watertown High was the Greater Boston Interscholastic Champion, Championship. They also won the 1934 Massachusetts Golf Association four-ball event at the Oakley Country Club. In addition to their golf skills, both Leo and Ed were starting defensemen for the Watertown High School hockey team. But it was as golfers that they were superb. Their victory in 1937 at the best four ball event in the country, the Jocks Club at the Country Club in Brookline, solidified their lofty standing. That year they both qualified for the National U.S. Amateur Golf Tourney in Portland, Oregon with sparkling, sparkling rounds at Blue Hills. Indeed, Ed Martin would qualify four times between 1937 and 1941, and in 1941 he would finish second in the New England Amateur Championship. World War II slowed the golf game for both and for one permanently. Leo in the Navy and Ed because of his eyesight in the Army. Eddie served in Africa with distinction and Leo was lost at sea in the North Atlantic in March of 1943. And as I mentioned, the Riverside Links in Weston were named the Leo J. Martin Memorial Golf Course. Ed Martin returned home after the war, returned to his position at the Middlesex Probate Court and returned to golf. But as his sister said, the magic and the beauty of playing golf were never the same for him without sharing the glories with his brother Leo. But he still was able to win the Massachusetts Amateur Championship, and was he won that in 1941, before the war. In 1946, it was won by someone else, and in 1948, he won it again. Three years later, he pulled a rare feat off of winning both the state amateur and the New England amateur titles. He won the country club, beating the old family nemesis, Ted Bishop, and he qualified for another six U.S. amateur tournaments, once reaching the quarterfinals. And he also qualified for several U.S. Opens. Along with his brother, Leo, Watertown High School's most illustrious golfers, I'd like to introduce to you Ed Martin to the Hall of Fame from the class of 1934, award to be received by his son, Ed Martin. certainly will not be as eloquent as uh, his sister Kathleen, who is the remaining member of the family, who is still with us today and sitting in the back table, uh, gave for <laughs> a 
because she spoke for uh, her brother Leo's award. And at the time, I know she felt uh, mixed uh, feelings, but uh, uh, she certainly loved both uh, brothers and felt both should be uh, in the Hall of Fame. So I thank you very much uh, for the Martin family, and in particular for Kathleen for making that dream come true. Thank you.